Hi, I'm Tina from Play Plus B. Now we get asked a lot, is the Play Plus B deck for beginners? And the answer is yes it is. We have tried very hard to accommodate both beginners and advanced practitioners. So, to start with, I would like to go directly to a card. So what we have done is we have an indicator here that indicates the level of difficulty and the level of intensity. So you can see the four is like a volume that gets turned up. So when it's only one, that means that the level of difficulty and intensity is relatively low. Now this is relatively because something that's easy for you might not be easy for me and the contrary. But on a general basis, this should be a good indicator. So if you're a beginner, maybe you want to start with the cards that have only one level. Now, in the manual as well, we have a lot of modifications on all of the poses. So even one that might seem like it's advanced might have a modification that's adaptable for you, even if it's not something that you um, have maybe even tried before or if it's something that seems really difficult for you. So another thing that I wanted to tell you is that we have also developed a course specifically to go along with the deck. It's called Play Pause Yoga and it takes you through all of the poses. So if you're a beginner I really recommend that you get that one as well and it will help you to learn all of the positions before you practice. Okay? Um, another thing, so when you have learned the positions and then you might, you know, start with the less difficult ones, the ones that you know, and then you start to develop and you start to explore from that, you know, building your basis. Uh, another thing that we have included in our cards are sequencing references. So even if you're a beginner and you think, you know, I have never made this yoga sequence before. So, you know, how would I know how to do that? You know, I have gone to a yoga class, but I don't know how they, you know, put it all together. That's where we got you, okay? So I'm gonna show you this one. Um, I'm gonna take this card. So this is Fallen Triangle. Hmm? And you can see that on this side, it has several references to cards. So there are several numbers here and these numbers are all indicators of a card in the deck. Hmm? So I'm going to take one of them now. You see 24 here. Okay. So 24 is knee to nose. Hmm? So what this is telling me is that we would, you know, give you a recommendation. This is just, you know, a recommendation to do knee to nose before fallen triangle. Hmm? So the ones that are before can be both for sequencing, but it can also be something that you want to include as a warm up. Okay, so now we're on the sequencing part. So I'm going to show you this one. Okay, so Okay, so we have knee to nose, then we have fallen triangle. We started with fallen triangle and found out we, that we could put knee to nose before it. Okay, so we put knee to nose before fallen triangle. Then we have on the other side. So now we have found the card here to put before it. Now we need to find the card after. Hmm? So where do we go from fallen triangle? You know? So these are the references that come after. So on this side, hmm? I'm going to find a number here. I have already prepared one because I have cheated and I have found 53. Can you see that there's a card that says 53 here, a reference. So that is side plank. Hmm? Okay. So now we have need to know. Then we have fallen triangle and after fallen triangle we have side plank. So I'm going to show you how we're going to go through that, okay? 
I'm just gonna move this a little bit and I'm gonna show you. So, knee to nose, we would probably start in a downward facing dog, which is the one before, yes, okay? So we are here, downward facing dog or three-legged dog, both, and then we're gonna do knee to nose. So we are here, this is knee to nose, right? And then it said triangle, fallen triangle, sorry. So I'm gonna twist, I'm gonna put out my leg, and I'm gonna go up into fallen triangle. You see how nicely they fit together? And then it said side plank, okay? So from here, I'm gonna go into side plank. Here. You see how nicely they fit together as well? So these are some of the, you know, recommendations that you can find on the card. So to make it easier for you to actually be able to, to start building your own sequences. And then as you start to get into it, it just starts to kind of unravel and, uh, and you just, you start to play with it. You figure things out yourself. Okay. Another important part though, that we have included that goes into the same concept is that here on this side, on the after side, you're gonna also find counter poses. So some of the positions that we have in yoga, they require a, a counter pose to even out a movement that we have done. And the counter poses for that reason, we have written them in bold, you see? So here you have one in bold. After, okay? So these are, you would say, highly recommended to include after. Um, another thing um, uh, that we could say about the positions before is that they are sequencing references, yes, but they're also, the ones that are before, are also things that we recommend that you include in your warm-up, for instance. You know, so um, if we find another card here, we can find handstand. You see? Handstand right here. Handstand has a reference before that is number five. Can you see that? Card number five is a reference, which is wrist warm up. You know, because the wrists with the hands are your new platform. There's all your weight is gonna come into that. So it's very important to warm up your wrists. Okay, so that is another thing that is included in, in the reference system. So that's all I wanted to, to share with you for the beginners using the PlayPass B deck. It is absolutely for you. We have thought of you, we got you. We have you in the manual with modifications, with explanations, precautions and everything. But if you need to practice the poses, then go get play pause yoga as well. And it will take you through the poses with videos explaining everything, how to, what to, alignments, etc along with another, a uh, lot of other good content as well. I forgot to mention, so for the play pause yoga, I will leave the link in the description below so you can go and check it out and read all about the details about the course. And then I will link up on here a next video that will take you through all of the different elements on the cards going into all of them and also you know the one one that I didn't mention for you in this video is the back with all of the benefits okay so make sure to check out that one as well okay see you